All right, Mario, in this video lesson, we are going to talk about your strengths as a hitter. And we're going to do that by looking at a guy named Carlos Lee, who's a great major league hitter. And I picked Carlos Lee for a couple of reasons. Number one, you guys, you can see here that your stances are very similar. You guys have a strong foundation, feet are about the same distance apart from each other, and the hands are in a very similar position. The second reason why I picked Carlos Lee is because both of you guys have very simple swings. And what I mean by that is you're going to see that Carlos Lee is going to do a real simple, short, small stride right there before he swings. And he's got a very aggressive swing, a lot like you. So if you look over here on the left-hand side, you're going to see that same short stride and that real aggressive swing. So now that we know why I picked Carlos Lee, let's talk about some of the strengths you have. And we're going to begin just by talking about your stance because you do a great job getting into a good, strong stance. And what I mean by that, we're going to start by looking at the feet. Notice Carlos Lee's feet, how they're a little bit wider than his shoulders. And he's got good bend in his knees here. And if you look over on the left-hand side at you, see your feet are wider than your shoulders. And we have good bend in our knees. The next thing we're going to look at with, that, with the stance is where the head is at. You can see that the head is right in the middle of the body. And I know that because the eyes are slightly in front of the belly button. So if he was to turn his head and look at us, that head would be right in the middle, which is good balance. And you can see the same thing here with you as well. Head's in the middle of the body. And the last thing that I like about your stance is where your hands are at. They're back by the back shoulder. So this is a good, strong position to hit from. All right? So that's your first strength is your stance. Your next strength is your stride. And we're going to look at Carlos Lee real quick. What you're going to see with him before he strides, he's going to get ready to stride by doing something that I call a negative move. And all a negative move is, you can see the belly button's marked. You're going to see it go back a little bit. And when it goes back, he's just lifting up this front heel just a little bit to get himself ready to stride. So he's creating potential power. He's kind of sp creating a spring load position before he strides. And if you look on the left-hand side with you, we'll draw that blue dot around your belly button. You're going to see the same kind of thing. All right? So blue dot around the belly button. Let's watch your negative move here. Right there is the stance. And right here, you take that belly button back a little bit, and you get yourself ready to stride. So that's good. And the next thing you're going to see with Carlos Lee over here on the right-hand side is a positive move. And this is where he's going to take his stride toward the pitcher. And I call it a positive move because the belly button is going to come forward towards the ball. And now that front foot lands right there, and he's in a good launch position. He's ready to drive the baseball. Notice the belly button has gone forward. And while he does this, the eyes are slightly in front of the belly button. So he's very balanced, and his hands stay back at the same time. So if we look on the left-hand side, you do a good job with your stride. It's nice and compact. It's a good positive move right there. Front foot lands, and you can see that belly button's gone forward. So you're creating some power with your stride. And at the same time, you do a good job keeping your hands back as well. So those are some very good strengths to build off of, and it gets you into a good position to drive the baseball with your swing, as you can see right there. Now, in the next video, we're going to talk about some things that you can do to improve. Um, before we do that, I want to play these two swings, Carlos Lee and you, at the same time. And as I play them, I want you to get a sense for what he's doing compared to what you're doing, and think about what you're doing well, and think about what you can do to improve.